Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlamon.com and I am back with another video and in this video we are going to show how to resolve your could not retrieve the table information for the connection manager Excel connection manager error message. Okay, and this error message is not exactly same in your scenario. The reason behind this, the this string Excel connection manager, this is your connection manager name. Now the common error is this that you are not able to retrieve data from your excel file even your excel is installed your machine okay why what is wrong okay so let me show you something uh, let me first open my project this is my exercise project and right now in my excel source I am not able to retrieve my sheet related information okay what is wrong click on OK and cancel. What is wrong is here and even my Excel is installed in my machine I am able to open excel.exe so why I am not able to retrieve the sheet information from the in the given sheet in my connection manager ok the reason behind this and the cause of the error is the SQL Server Data Tool or Business Intelligent Development Studio required Excel 32 32-bit and right now in my machine Microsoft Office 64-bit version is installed so that's why we are facing this error message and to resolve this error we have to install Access Runtime 32 32-bit version or Excel Database Engine 32-bit version okay and for this video I already download the latest available Access Database Engine or Runtime and we are going to install the latest version okay and this is the access runtime x32 bit underscore en hyphen uxe and 86 is just for 32 bit and 64 for 64 bit and we are going to install this and this is the 2013 version before start the installation of access runtime x86 underscore english hyphen us dot exe i want to give a small advice in some forum in some blog they say that you have to in this scenario in such scenario you have to convert your file into 97 or 2003 version okay this advice or this solution is correct but it is not 100% correct why the reason behind this is the limitation of limitation of excel 97 2003 and uh, the limitation of the Excel 2003 okay the text file that are larger than 65,536 rows or let's say the Excel 2003 supports around ah uh, I don't know the number uh, I think it is 48,000 and 10 lakhs 10 lakhs 48,576 rows supported by Excel 2003 and let's assume your file content 10 lakh row then you are not able to convert your 2013 version excel file into 97 okay uh, you are not able to convert this into 97 or 2003 why the maximum low rows support by a 97 or 2003 version is 64 65 thousands only so this is not a perfect solution the perfect solution is you have to install access database engine okay and how to install just you have to double click on this and if you want to know the download link you can check the description of this video the download link is available inside the description okay now we have to install this to resolve this error message for this you have to double click on this and a user access control user account control is asking for confirmation and the programmer name is Microsoft Office and verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation click on yes and the access 2013 runtime is now extracting the installation file so we have to wait and this is the main installation window and it will take some time so I'm going to pause my video and I'm back once the installation is complete and finally our access runtime installation is almost com completed and it is finalizing the installation it will take on maybe few seconds or few minutes okay now once our installation is completed then we again try to open our Excel 
file or we want to check whether we are able to see the sheets available sheet in our excel file or not and finally the installation is successful now click on close to close the installation window and move back to our SQL Server data tool or business intelligence development studio now double click on this and I hope we don't need to restart our visual studio and now we have to again check name of the excel sheet and it is loading and finally we are able to see the contents of our excel file okay click on this and this is the column of my excel sheet okay finally we are our issue is resolved and let me show my SSI package and if you are still facing any issue this steps is not resolving your error message then just leave it in comment section with proper error message I will try to replicate it in my system and then I'm going to provide a proper resolution steps so for all of you just leave your valuable comment it will help me to serve you better write a comment if you want a video on a specific content subscribe my youtube channel join me on facebook twitter google plus this is the link you can find all this link in the description of this video and you can also join me on my personal website it is vlemon.com share it with your friends if it helps you of course it is going to help your friends and colleagues and thank you for watching see you all in next video